Howdy folks, it's uh, Luke Duke here with Luke Duke Outdoors and today's adventure I'm out here in this uh, tilled field doing a little arrowhead hunting. We've had uh, probably a half inch of rain on it since they tilled it so it's uh, I'm out here checking it out. It's about perfect. There's a little piece of uh, chip flint right there. I've seen uh, quite a few pieces but uh, no actual points yet, but I did find a couple scrapers and there's another little flake right there. But it is uh, about perfect conditions today. It's uh, cloudy, about 85 degrees, not too bad. If that sun was out, it sure would be a whole lot hotter, but I'm still on the hunt. I haven't. Uh, found anything yet but if I do I will be back on here all right it's Luke Duke over now all right I got something caught my eye over here you see that right there nice little flake of uh, some type of gray flint here it doesn't look like any type of point but it's a nice, nice flake. All right. Yep, just a flake. Just a flake. All right. Well, that's the biggest flake I've found so far. So I'm going to keep it walking. It's Luke Duke over now. Now I got another interesting uh, flake up here. I'll turn the camera on. There's another little flake right there. But uh, I see this right here. It looks like the same color flint as earlier, but it doesn't look like a point or anything. But no, just a discarded chunk of some really nice looking material there some nice looking flint all right that fooled me there's another little flake over there there's something over there i'm in a pretty good spot right here so hopefully i can find something it's luke duke over and out i'll just pick this up nice little uh, scraper here got the working edge there nice little thumb thumb spot there that's a uh, pretty good scraper right there all right I found my uh, first part of an artifact the uh, tip right there got a broken tip second all right, hopefully I can find a day maker before I head out here. Got another big piece of churdy rock right there. It's been chipped off of. That's some pretty good looking material right there. You can see where it's been knocked off of there a few times. This is definitely a uh, camp area where I'm at right here, right next to the creek. Oh, well, there's another big piece right over there. Right there. Right there's a big flake. About eight foot away from me over there. Might as well leave this on and go check that out. Looks like there's another flake right there. Flake in there. We better check that. Make sure it's nothing. Oh, no, nothing. Make sure I don't miss nothing on the way over here. Yeah, it's a nice flake. Definitely a worked piece. There's a couple of working areas on it there. Nice flake. Find a lot of 
a lot of scrapers and hammer stones and tools in this area because this was a camp so all that stuff is going to be here all right i'm gonna turn this back off and get to walking here it's luke duke over and out all right i got a pretty good find right here it's a actually a piece of petrified wood I know it's hard to see right now, but I will, uh, oop, I dropped it. I'll get it cleaned up when I get back to the house, but that is a piece of petrified wood. All right. That's pretty cool. Luke Duke over and out. Well, just found a uh, another piece of petrified wood. I always find it in the same location, right here in this field, the same spot. And it seems to me like it's been in a fire, an ancient fire, before it was uh, petrified because it's, uh, it's a real dark black gray color. I don't know, it's pretty, I find it uh, in its natural colors also, but I also find it looking like it's burnt. I don't know. Probably had a ancient fire, I imagine. All right, Sloop Duke, over and out. All right, I think I have found my first point. Seen it from a few feet away over there. It's got a nice, straight, sharp edge on it there. Look at that sure looks like something to me oh man all right let's see what it is oh yeah it sure is look at that it's a nice like spear point type piece the tips barely broke off of it there it looks like but not bad. Not a bad point there. You see there's the notch and the notch on the other side. And yeah, that's not a bad point. It definitely look a lot better once I get all this dirt off of it. But yeah, that's not bad. Right on. On the board. Got another flake over here that kind of looks interesting there. It kind of looks like a base to a point right here. Right here. Oh, it's just a flake. It's just a flake. But yeah, that's that's pretty decent. Right on. All right, I'm on the board. On the board. Sweet. Yes. That's pretty cool. All right. Let's see if we can find something else. We got time. All right. This is Luke Duke. Go over and out. Yee yee. Well, here's a uh, another piece of that petrified wood. It's a pretty nice piece here. This is going to clean up nice. All right. Very cool. All right. I'll show you this when I get home, get it cleaned up. It'll look a lot different. All right. Let's look Duke over and out. All right, I found another piece of that petrified wood. Pretty nice piece. There's that point. I'm heading back to the truck. Probably got another 100 yards to walk here. Still finding flakes and flint chips. So I'm going to keep looking. Let's look Duke over and out. 
All right, I think I spotted a piece of uh, petrified wood there. See if you can see it. I seen it from a few feet back. Sure looks like a piece to me. Oh yeah, sure is. Nice, look at that. Piece of petrified wood. Awesome. That's a nice piece there. The rain's got it cleaned off on that spot there. Alright. I found quite a few pieces of this petrified wood today. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's hit that point there, bud. Very cool. It's Luke Duke over and out. back to the house here and had some dinner and got these uh, rocks cleaned up from uh, this evening's uh, walk I picked up uh, picked up quite a few quite a few uh, flakes over here got some nice ones there got the uh, point in the center that I found it sucks it's got the uh, tip broke off of it, but it's still a pretty nice one. Got a nice stem on it there. I found, uh, there's the uh, petrified wood. Check that stuff out. That's pretty cool. It's got like a crystal in it right there, some type of crystal. There you go. Huh. Got another big piece back here. And a few of these are uh, scrapers. They are up here on this edge. <clears throat> it's uh, It's been dulled down so that you can hold it in your hand with your finger on the back side and have this cutting edge right here as your scraper and all these pieces were found within a 40 foot circle probably and i found uh many others there before and some of these small ones even uh are scrapers too you know little little bitty thumb scrapers like this one you put your thumb right there or a finger then you have that cutting edge right there And you can tell because this edge right here that hits the ramp before the cutting edge is polished also from from dragging it on the hide so much, you know, just like that. That's got that nice quartz crystal in it right there. That's pretty cool. There's a couple uh, broken tips right there. Nice... Uh, geode out in the middle of the field uh pretty nice you know scraper there some other scraping tools you know cutting tools some uh flake you know chip it was a pretty good hunt we got that point right there let's let's look at that a little closer that's pretty nice made out of some pretty unique material that's for sure I ought to go out here and get it get it wet once the old dogs are passed out I'm sticking this water bucket right here. oh yeah look at it now 
that made a big difference yeah that's pretty nice too bad the tips broke off of it but man look at that that's pretty cool yeah pretty nice Man, that's cool. All right. Got Grizz over here snoring away. Old Grizz. All right. That was a pretty good walk, man. I only probably walked for, I don't know, a couple hours. At least two hours. So. Wasn't too bad of a haul. All right, till the next one. This is Luke Duke. I'm out of here. Now I grew up down an old dirt road in a town you wouldn't know. My pops picked the place up for 1,500 bucks back in 1964. My grandfather was a drinker back in the day. Whiskey's known to change a man That's not me I rarely drink from the bottle But I'll smoke 